What's up dudes, it's Gaz, and welcome to the Warframe video. So, there isn't really much going on in Warframe right now, so I'm just going to show you what I'm going to be doing for the last day or two before Neja Prime Access comes out on the 27th. Like we said in the previous video, there's actually, I mean, Mesa Prime's going to get vaulted when Neja Prime comes out, just straight up. So, what I'm going to do is going to involve Mesa Prime getting vaulted, and we're actually going to be farming Mesa Relics some of the fastest way possible, because they're, if you don't know what vaulting is, I'm pretty sure you probably know um when a prime item gets vaulted that means that you can you can still get the parts for it from buying it from other players but the relics to get like a fresh new relic for these vaulted items are is not possible so we're gonna be going to the void and we're gonna do the capture uh, mission called hepit which is a low level capture mission it's guaranteed to drop a lith relic if we take a quick look at uh, what items drop from which relics for Mesa. She actually has two rare ones, and you can get both of the rare ones from Lith Relics. The Mesa Prime Neuroptics is a rare that comes from Hepit, as is the Mesa Prime Systems, also coming from Hepit. So, if, if, if you got nothing else to do in Warframe, you could just farm Hepit a bunch of times in these last two days and try to get these for the future, for when Mesa Prime is vaulted and possibly a lot more expensive another nice thing is that pretty much every relic that will drop from hepit has something involving mesa prime this also drops their mesa prime blueprint where was the other one that i saw i think it's this one uh that's, this one's got a mesa prime blueprint basically al almost every relic that will drop here has a mesa prime part this one's vaulted it's, okay so yeah mesa prime parts will not be accessible uh Unless you buy them from somebody. As you see right there, we got the D1 relic has a Mesa Prime blueprint. You are pretty much going to get a Mesa Prime relic every time unless it's like one or two of the other relics. There's also a vaulted Glaive Prime, Frost Prime, Ember Prime relic. Uh, actually, it might not be dropping Ember Prime. But there's a Glaive Prime and Frost relic in this Hepit uh, drop table. So let me just let me see if I can just search Hepit here and it will show me exactly what they drop. No, it doesn't. That would be great if the codex showed you that. But yeah, um, so I've also got some additional information here. Um, oh yeah, by the way, we're using Wukong Prime. You can use whatever frame you want to go really fast. I just find Wukong Prime the most simple. Uh, and the reason you want to use the Prime, as you see right here, I walk over to that, that laser orb. And if you are a Prime Warframe and you walk near the, one of those laser orbs, uh, it actually gives you 100 energy just for walking by. And it also it will restore energy while you're in your Cloudwalker form for Wukong. That's why we use Wukong Prime. Normal Wukong won't work as good. But it will, I mean, it, it, it's still the same speed, thankfully. So... Um, yeah, something you should do, like, don't do what I'm doing right here. If it says change of plans, kill 60 enemies, just abandon the mission and restart it over. You'll literally, like, you're wasting time doing this because you can complete these Hepit capture missions in about, like, 30 seconds if you're doing it, like, max speed. Um, and killing these 62 enemies takes, like, two to three minutes. And that's you, like, losing out on, like, three, four relics at that point. You gotta, keep, you gotta take into account loading screens as well. Um, of loading into the mission, loading out of the mission... Uh, waiting for the, the mission timer to click down or tick down as you're loading back into the mission again. So, yeah, if, if you get kill 60 enemies, just abandon. It, it's really not worth it. And just try to, like, get the capture target again. Um, yeah, so, like I said, high duration Wukong build. Uh, some efficiency would be nice, too, but you don't need it either. Just mostly high duration is all you really need. The enemies are level 15 in this mission. You'll be able to kill them with pretty much any weapon. Um, and the capture target, I like. I just brought the Archiplasmor because I had it equipped. So, um yeah, we've also got a high-level Sentinel set up way too try-hard. Um, oh, yeah, so I want to talk about this other information. I got a back alley, uh, some some secret information, that, and this is not 100% confirmed, so don't take it as uh, fact. I, I've, I've been told that the Nightwave Sword and Neja Prime are coming out on the same day. And if you watch some of our previous videos that said MR, MR30 is really close, that could potentially mean, if that is true... That MR30 for non-founders and founders is on the same day. Now, like I said, they might it, it might not be true. But I heard from someone that probably knows that uh, that is going to be a thing. So, we'll find out in two days. It's just, you know, it's word on the street. So, uh, we'll see how that goes. I know a lot of people would be like... Okay, I think there would be people on both sides of the fence. Like, I'm annoyed that I'm, I'm not getting it before the non-founders and... Uh, yeah, like, if, if you were, like, a founder who was, like, super, like, wanting to feel like you were special because you bought the 
Excalibur Prime Access like seven years ago, however long that was, you're like, I, I, you owe it to me to be at MMR 30 ahead of time. But the other side of the coin, it's like, I grinded so much stuff. Like, I'm not saying I feel like this, but I'm saying some people out there probably feel like this. I grinded so much stuff. I grinded all the intrinsics. I grinded all the Railjacks. Uh, yeah, Railjack intrinsics. All the K-Drives. All the Arc Wing crap. I feel like I've worked hard enough that I should... 200 extra dollars shouldn't matter in the grand scheme of things with how much I've worked to get to this point. So, that's how, what I'm thinking. Uh, so, we'll see. Like I said, if the Nightwave Sword and Nezra Prime Access come on the same day, honestly, like, Founders would probably get a little bit... As long as the Founders are playing as obsessively as some of these other guys are, um, as long as they got one item before the non-Founders got... Uh, the whole Nezha Prime Access and the Glass Maker Sword. We don't know how long the Glass Maker Sword will take to get. Probably just like a 12-hour, 24-hour build time. And of course, Nezha Prime takes three days to build, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people will be rushing him with Plat. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Like, it, There's definitely potential for it, some people to be salty. So keep an eye on that. That is word on the street. And as you see from the uh, background gameplay, we've that's the one relic that doesn't give you a Mesa Prime part right there. The Panthera Prime Barrel one. If you get that one, you, you kind of just got screwed over. But at least there's a formal blueprint in there, right? Um, so yeah, the, the two rare parts for Mesa, I'm going to take a quick look at Warframe Market to see if she's gone up in price. I think last time we checked the Warframe Market, she was about 40 plat for a set 45 plat. Mesa Prime, this is on PC, I'm checking. Mesa Prime set on PC. She's 55, okay, she's going up in price, it seems like, every day. So, I mean, she's getting vaulted in two days, so, and she's very, I mean... Mesa Prime is a very popular fan favorite, a pretty effective fan favorite, and people are always joking about how they're going to nerf her because she's that strong. So I feel like if you've got nothing else to do and you're still like just trying to find some stuff to do in Warframe, here you go. Uh, it's not I'm not going to try to call this fun, but it is efficient. Every un, Under a minute, let's just call it under a minute, you get a relic, and it's very high chances to be a Mesa Prime relic. Um, and, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Once Neja Prime comes out, this will probably be a good way to farm any lift rocks that come with Mace, uh, Neja Prime. But then again, like Neja, Neja Prime's uh, parts won't be all over the drop tables like Mesa's, because Mesa, like I said, Mesa's about to get vaulted. Her, her, she's been in the pool for the longest amount of time. There we got a, a rare Mesa relic right there. So her, her parts are in almost every relic that's currently farmable. This is just one of the fastest ways to get relics in the game. You can also do Ucko on the Void. I think that's like Neo and Meso relics. But you don't really need ne Neo and Meso relics for Mesa Prime because. She, like I said, her two rare parts come from Lith Relics. It's not really, like... You don't need to go out of your way to get Meso Relics. Especially because I believe the Meso drop tables is actually larger. Take a quick look right here. I mean, you, you, can, you can technically do Ucko if you want to. I feel like it's, it's a larger drop table, though. I can, I can basically guarantee that you will be getting a... Uh, you, you could also do Ucko. I've, I've done a bunch of Ucko, and I have a lot of Meso Relics from that, too. So just do a Void Capture these last couple of days. Um, I, I'm going to recommend Hepit to you, but like I said, you, it's up to you guys. So I'll talk to you next time. Hope you found this helpful. Um, I, I, I'm really busy lately, and uh, there isn't really much going on in Warframe right now, so I'm trying to just like... Uh, I actually, I need to make a play QR video, two play QR videos, I guess. I don't really like the play QR, to be honest. Um, but yeah, we'll get Nezha Prime access. We don't even have the stat for Guandao and Zakti Prime yet, so that should be interesting. Um, I'll see if I can get those on the first day or something like that uh, with all the preparing I've been doing. But we'll, we'll see you guys. I'll talk to you next time. Take it easy. Peace.